All right, so I'm at the boat, but uh, before I go sailing today, I'm gonna work on a project that I didn't get finished during the off season because I was waiting for a part, and that is an adjustable backstay. All right, so this is the adjustable backstay that I built, and it uses Harkin uh, element blocks. And the key thing with uh, creating an adjustable backstay is that you have to know um, what the strength of all the components has to be. Right, so it has to be at least as strong as what was originally there, which was uh, metal shrouds. So, you know, I've done those calculations and the Harkin element blocks uh, meet the criteria. And so the only thing I was waiting for was a new backstay bridle. So what I realized was that if I had any issues, um, that, you know, I wouldn't have a backstay bridle anymore because unfortunately this is the backstay bridle and this piece I'm gonna have to cut um, to get it off of the triangle and I bought a different triangle from Dwyer but unfortunately the holes aren't large enough to accommodate my main sheet uh, tackle so uh, this is actually a spare backstay bridle that I was able to purchase from another Precision 18 owner um, whose boat unfortunately was damaged and so I bought it from him and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the original one that I have that came with my boat and then this will be my uh, backup in case anything goes wrong. Um, and then, you know, if I ever decide to switch it back out, I can do that as well. Okay, so I'm starting out by uh, loosening my forestay tension. So, you know, I wanna take all the tension off the forestay and the backstay so that I can take the uh, backstay off. And so that's what I've done here. I've uh, gone ahead and loosened the turnbuckle. Um, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is check for mast rake. Okay, so you can see here by this uh, wrench that I have hanging off the main halyard that the mast rake is uh, pretty good. So it's supposed to have mast rake when the mast is not under any tension and it should be like four to six inches. So this is with uh, the backstay and the forestay all loosened up and it looks like the mast rake is set pretty well. Um, and so, you know, one of the reasons that I wanted to do this is because normally I sail with um, some bend in my mast, which puts a lot of tension uh, on the rigging and on the chain plates. And so it's best to just, you know, um, bend the mast when you need it, when you're sailing in high winds, um, but then release that tension when the boat's just sitting in the slip. So the adjustable backstay allows me to do that. Okay, so this is the piece that I'm gonna have to cut. And once I do that, that's gonna be permanent. So the backstay adjuster will attach um, right here, and then this will stay. But, you know, in case something fails or, you know, doesn't work out just right, um, then I do have a full spare of the backstay bridle. So you can see here I'm using double shackles. So this one came with the element blocks. Um, but unfortunately it's not big enough to pass, or it's too big to pass through uh, the mounting points both here and down on the transom. So I had to double up, but it's plenty strong. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is tighten up the force day um, three full turns. So normally I loosen it six full turns when I de-rig the boat. So I'm gonna put half the tension um, that normally is on there. All right, so here you can see this is with no bend in the mast. All right, so here you can see it's got a little tension on the backstay adjuster and a little bit of bend there in the top third of the mast. All right, so here I've tightened the force day a little bit more and uh, yeah, you can see a good bend in the top of the mast there. I also tightened up the port and starboard shrouds and then checked to make sure the mast was still centered by measuring with the main halyard to the same point on each side of the boat. Okay, so I think I've got everything adjusted where I want it. You can see the wrench is sitting about four, maybe four and a half inches behind the mast. Um, so that's the perfect rake with no tension on it. And uh, so I can tension the backstay from there. The maximum allowable mast bend on a fractional rig with an aluminum mast is 2% of I, where I is either the jib height or the deck to forestay measurement. So in my case, 
I is 19 feet or 228 inches, and 2% 2 of that is 4.56 inches. You measure mast bend by placing the mean halyard tied up against the sail track on the aft end of the mast, and then the measurement is the gap that is created between the halyard and the aft end of the mast as the mast is bent. So I used a zip tie that was 4.5 inches long to do my measurements. tensioner and uh, I went ahead and marked my lines with some whipping twine so that's the max that's the base setting and uh, now I'm gonna go try it out